Gong hei fa choi! Welcome to my little video about Chinese New Year, also known as Spring Festival. And uh, I think it's really, really lovely. It's a good way to start a new year. And it's much better than getting drunk and making yourself promises that you're not gonna keep. So the Chinese New Year date changes every year. It always falls between January 21st and February 20th and is determined by the Chinese lunar calendar. So it is never the same on our calendar, but they follow the moon. And I think that's beautiful. It's way better than what we do. <laughs> so this year is the year of the rat. The first one in the zodiac cycle. Uh, last year was year of the pig. If it's your year, make sure that you do not offend the gods. Wear red, wear jade, do whatever is needed. Wear uh, talismans of your um, animal and hope that they are not offended because your own year is unlucky and I can tell you it is true. Every pig year has been a pig of a year. Traditionally, 16 days from Chinese New Year's Eve until the Lantern Festival each had a special celebration activity. I will link you to those activities. It's very interesting to see all the traditions that they would do every year, uh, every day um, in those 16 days. And it makes really good reading and I just find it so special. Of course, you might have seen the red envelopes being given out to children usually. Um, and they are lucky. Giving red envelopes is a way to send good wishes and luck as well as money. Red envelopes are given out from older to younger, from bosses to employees and from leaders to underlings. It is a special New Year's bonus. Where did I put the string? When I worked for Yi Hong, I did get my red envelopes and it was so nice. It was so nice to be part of that. It's the first one I've ever had. I've not had one since because <laughs> I don't work there anymore, unfortunately. But it was really special to be part of that. <laughs> red decorations are everywhere during the Chinese New Year. You might know that red is a lucky color in China, representing many positive things such as happiness, beauty, vitality, good luck, success and good fortune. But did you know that almost everything is red during Chinese New Year? Apart from the red envelopes, decorations in spring couplets are hung up outside people's homes are red. You also see lanterns everywhere, as well as red paper cuttings. Hi hi! How are you all doing? I am in full swing for Chinese New Year, also known as Spring Festival, because it is celebrated all around Asia and not just China, but it got known as Chinese New Year mostly. I don't know why, I've never looked into the origins of it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but I do do my own little celebration each year, not as elaborate as some people would traditionally. Um, but I did want to show you guys little snippets of what I do um, and today I am doing some prep for my hot pot for Chinese New Year's Eve which is tonight um, and I am not using a traditional hot pot I'm actually using a fondue set that I bought in Holland it's an electric one and it basically is the same thing it just doesn't have the separate compartment if I wanted like a different broth or whatever else. I will buy a traditional one eventually, but this does the job and I don't have money. So you put the ingredients in and you can scoop them out with these little things. So I just wanted to show you guys some ingredients, um, a couple of them. You can put anything you want into your hot pot, whatever you want. Um, I've got, and you can, you can make a few side dishes. I was gonna make like a cucumber salad or something like that, but then <sighs> I didn't plan very well and I kind of ate most of my fresh veggies. Washing, sweeping or taking out the garbage are not allowed. During the Chinese New Year period, there are many superstitions. Washing hair or clothes is not allowed on the first day of the lunar year because it is seen as washing one's fortune away at the beginning of the year. Sweeping and taking out the garbage symbolizes removing the good luck from the house, so pe people don't do that either. Giving people pears or mirrors as gifts is also taboo. Pears, for example, are taboo because the Chinese word for pears sounds the same as the word for leaving or parting. Mirrors are a terrible gift idea throughout much of Asia, not just China. 
as they are believed to attract malicious ghosts. They are also easily broken, and anything that breaks is considered a bad omen. You can, however, give alcohol, tea, or toys. Before firecrackers were invented, Chinese people would burn bamboo. Originally, burning bamboo's crackling was believed to send away evil demons, so people would burn this on the Chinese New Year's Eve. With the invention of fireworks and firecrackers, however, these replaced the tradition of burning bamboo because firecrackers are much louder, so they would scare everything away. <laughs> On Chinese New Year's Eve, people eat auspicious foods. Certain foods are eaten during Chinese New Year period, purely for their symbolic meaning. This includes dumplings, eaten because they represent wealth, because they look like little money bags, right? The more dumplings you can eat, the more money you will make in the New Year. Fish is eaten because of the wor word for fish in Chinese sounds like surplus. Oranges and tangerines play a large role in Chinese New Year festivities. Oranges and tangerines are displayed because they are believed to bring good luck and fortune due to their pronunciation and characters. The Chinese for orange sounds the same as the Chinese for success. One of the ways of writing tangerine contains the Chinese character for luck. This explains why oranges and tangerines are seen everywhere during this period. And they make great gifts. But from working with um, a Chinese company, I have also learned a lot of things that traditionally are done nowadays, like wearing new red underwear every year for good luck. And I learned from my, my I learned from my Malaysian colleague that um, she would make a whole pot of rice on New Year's Eve, so she would have food to bring into the new year. You know, it's all about surplus and abundance and good luck. And I love that so much. It's really cool. But yeah, I will leave a link below to all the New Year's dates and you can have a look for yourself and I will leave some information down as well. I'll link you to Wai Hong as well if you are in the area. Their New Year's celebrations are absolutely amazing that you have to see.